Hello everybody, Jerome Wright here once again and um, here you're joining me on my YouTube Jerome Wright channel. Okay, in this video I'm going to go back to my Anchor Watt discoveries. I do have a video out on this about my discovery of me finding these turtles here in the eaves of this Anchor Watt building. If you look closely right here, these are the shells in the eaves of turtles. They're the backs and then you have the telescoping necks which is here even showing the skin there and the head of the turtle coming up out of the eve of Angkor Wat. Okay, now there is a mythical um, 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 tale about how there was a king that turned and pulled his body to the point where he turned himself into a turtle and a turtle into him. So genetic bridging and manipulation, this is what my discoveries are all about people, about these ancient mythical tales where it was reality actuality and not a myth okay so and it all involves the monkey now it's about this turtle being bridged over what this is what it's all about about that of a, a monkey so here's the monkey right here you see the monkey bent over there's the monkey cranial there's the monkey's face there's the monkey's left arm there's the monkey's right arm there's the monkey's torso this is the back of the monkey here this one here is a little disfigured but we have it here Okay, you see the monkey bent over there. Okay, so we have the monkey, we have the turtle. Now, there's mutations. There's a mutation right there. I'm going to see if I can come in to show you a, a mutation of that creature. And this is what this is all about, people, about how our ancestors knew how to genetically alter themselves. If you look right here, there is a face of a monkey looking like figure crossed between a monkey and a turtle and it's created with a crown. Now, if you look at this whole entire figure in a thumbnail size, there are two faces over top of each other here. Multi-dimensional faces in these locations right here. So when you Google these images and you look at them in thumbnail size, if you think you saw the face, Yes, you saw the face. Now, another thing here is key to this is that I'm going to come to something later, is that there is a bird up in the top right there. Okay, this bird is symbolic of that of also with genetic change within and genetic contribution to that of mankind. Okay, you also see this almost the same exact symbolization of this bird in the um, on Lord Pakal's um, tomb lid okay um or mayan king leader okay these are showing people these genetic contributions of these genes that genetically altered us from what this creature right here and this is what calls for all of the different likenesses of mankind now um let me go to my next picture here let me see what i got up um this is oh i can't do it from this i cannot do it from this I've got two computers up here. I keep trying to work one. I want to I want to show you something. And let me These here people are images that are mirrored images. Okay? And I want to show you something. You see this image here? This is a mirrored image. Thanks to Mike. Mike mirrored this image for me. And this is of the location of Anchor Watt as well, too. In here, there's a head. This guy is wearing like a a, 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 a bulb on his on his head, almost like wings on his back. Look at the face here. This is a mutation. Okay, and I'm gonna tell you about this in a minute. If you notice the guy's arms comes around, swings around, and comes in, and it's like he's holding a book open at his chest. Here's the other arm. This is the right arm coming around, bending around the elbow, coming up to the hands right here into the chest area. Here's the left shoulder coming over around the right elbow. Oh, no, the left elbow. And again, over here, here's the guy's body right here, which creates his stomach and legs together. And here's his feet coming out. This is his left foot here. Here's his right foot there. You see that creates an entire body and he's wearing like a suit okay you ever notice the people with the tuxes and you notice how the tux um 
um, collars come out in white right there. Okay. Well, this guy is not wearing a suit. It gives rise to that. Oh, by the way, this is his mouth right here. There's an eye. There's an eye. And this creates the nose. Here's the mustache area here. I hope I'm not writing on my screen here. All right. And um, there's his nostril area. You see this, people? This creates a perfectly, a perfect face. You know, this guy is not holding open a suit jacket or a dinner jacket. This guy is holding open his chest cavity. You know why? Because there are other multidimensional images inside of here, which include that of the pig. Well, you're saying, well, what in the hell is a pig doing in this guy's chest cavity? Well, people, think about it. What animal has the exact heart or well, most that in, in compatibility with that of mankind? It is the pig. So the pig is referenced in the creation of mankind because the pig was created along the same chemistries which calls for the likenesses of mankind. Well, you have to know this because you have to know your, your ancient, true ancient origins and history. So when you flip this image over, the pig is also referenced with that of being what? female the woman you ever hear of a woman and she's being loose with herself this that the third and you hear they're calling her a pig the woman the woman is being associated with the pig well when you flip this image around lo and behold there's an image of a woman created as well so this people is what it's all about now if you come up here there's a guy right here you see his face well hold on you can't see his face because i am too close so let me come back I'm going to try to make this video go fast and short and sweet. They never go that way. Here's a dark figure guy here. Here's his body. Here's his chest. Here's his arm. Here's, there's, this is his right arm. Here's his left arm. Here's the body, torso. And there's his crazy looking head in there. He's holding open his cape, his cloak. You see that right there? And he's standing on the head of this guy right here. Now, his arms is turned out. There's his thumb. There's his fingers. His arms is turned out. There's his hands, his fingers, and there's his thumb on this side. Can you see that? All right. Now, he's holding his hands out like, behold, look at what I have created. So, all of this is in here. Now, look at this image, people, because this, this is something that you can't just go out and, 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 and Photoshop or do. This is talking about genetics involving creatures. Okay, now, what creatures is always referencing the ape. Now this man here, this image of this being, this mutation of that of a turtle and an ape is showing you that he evolved through the body of the turtle and the ape and in this each one of his shoulders, here's the chin, there's the mouth, there's a tooth, the nose area, there's the eye area, and each one of his shoulders and his arms in the forearm area, this is showing the face of that of an ape on each side. Okay, now let me show you something else about this. Let me go and I want to show you the. Uh, oh, we're going to come back to that image too. We're going to come back. Well, you know what? Hold on, I'm going to show you that. I want to show you that guy. Because I got him highlighted for you. I want to show you him highlighted. And then we'll go back to the other images. Because there are some interesting images here, people. Some very, very, very interesting images that you need to know. All right, this is him highlighted. This is that guy highlighted right there. Like I told you, down here to the feet, look at this. Look at how this guy is almost wearing clothing, almost like wearing a shoe, and how the clothes automatically morphs and come down and shows in graphic detail this. Then look at the face showing here. There's lips, there's nostrils, there's eyes. And I assure you people, there's two heads of pigs over top of each other. And it almost shows like horns coming out here. You see what I'm saying? This is this is absolutely mind-boggling, to be totally honest with you. And I'm going to tell you pretty much what is going on. Our ancestors that created these buildings, they had a reptilian sense of being and a reptilian sense of awareness. So when they created these buildings, 
these buildings were automatically created in the sense of a reptilian architect or architecture. So therefore, these images, when an overlayment is created, it shows us from the eyes from which they were created. Or these structures were made. And this is why when you do the overlayments of these images, the true images are, are, um, are shown. Like dimensional doorways. A look. These, these beings had a look through their vision of visualizing into the future through their eyes. So our eyes is de are deteriorating from this point. Our deteriorate, our, our sight, our vision is deteriorated from this moment. These people's eyes allowed them to what we're looking at to look into the future. Now, we're looking into, they're showing us the past through a creation that they made that they knew were going to transcend time. And eventually, somebody was going to click and get this. This is what this is all about. It's a dimensional doorway, a time machine, holographic images that can be created in overlayments of this structure. All right, now, you see the little guy again I'm telling you up here? There's his head and his face. See this little reptilian face? His little body, his cloak open. There's a the hand. There's the right hand. There's the left hand. He's standing on the head of this guy. See, this is the cheek. This is the cheek. There's the nose. There's a slit in the mouth. You see all of this stuff here looking like the facial hair. Look at this, people. Arms open. You see that? Look like something from a monster mash. Look at this. Look at this, people. The full body of a being, a mutation created from the genes of ape, turtle, and prehistoric birds. This is what this is all showing right here. All right, um, let me go to something else. And there's the image at again, people. There's, there it is right there. Look at this. Foot, foot, body area, chest cavity area, stomach down here, the arm coming up, the head, this being up on top with his arms open. Looking like the great kazoo from Fred Flintstone with his arms open, talking about, behold, look at what I created. You see this? Okay. Um, you need to go back and look at the history of Angkor Wat people. All right, I'm going to move out of this. I'm done with that image. Um, do I want to talk about this here? No, I'm not going to talk about I'm going to talk about this in another other images that I pull up because there is a face right there there and there and I'm I did well actually you can see the face right here as well too this is another um, overlayment of Angkor Wat if you see right there these are lips the bottom lip wrinkled lips here's the top lip look at the look at the lip line look at that people you see that and this is a face of that of like an African being you see it now check this out there's the forehead there now check this out with a, an elongated head. You see that there, people, like back up in there with like a crown on top of it. See the crown here? See that? There's a little crown. Look at that, people. Here. There's the crown right here. See that pretty looking crown? Look. See that crown cap? It's on an elongated head from here. There's the, the, the chin is down here. The elongated head is up here. Here's the forehead there. Okay. But look at the crown. Look at that crown, people. You see that? Look, this is a distinct, this is a crown. Look. Now check this out. There's a left eye and there's the red eye. This person is seemingly wearing some form of goggles, glasses that we see today. Glasses right there. There's a, This is the forehead area. There's the glasses. This is the left eye. That's the right eye. Here's the nose area. And here's these beautiful lips. And my face appears here. What's amazing about this, because I'm going to show you in another image of what I look like today. This is exactly what I look like today. There's my forehead. There's my eye. There's my, um, there's my right eye. There's my left eye. There's my nose. Here's my beard. 
Here's my um, no. Here's my mustache. Here's my beard. There's the um, the sideburn area. Now the only there's my forehead. The only thing that this is showing me with that I don't have, that I don't have hair on the back of my head with a receding hairline. With the, it looks like it's maybe like about two inches of hair here. But there's a receding hairline. But I shave my head. I always shave my head. I never let my hair grow to that point. But this is showing me with hair. I have never worked and my receding hairline, which comes back and shows that that receding hairline would come back to look like about the middle of the top of my head. And but it's, I'm shown with hair here. Now I, I'm going to have another picture that I pull up on another, um, another, um, 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 um page here because I'm going to open up another, um, a, a male of mine that I actually sent this image to. But I'm going to show you what I look like now in describing that when I seen this image, there's my nose there. I knew that that was me. So I'm appearing in this creation from a mirrored image. This mirrored image from created from back, well, not the mirrored image, but this creation of Angkor Wat. This is a projected image of me from the past, right there, to the future. When I seen that, I was somewhat amazed, but I was not shocked. You know why? Because this does not shock me. Also, there's the mother of creation. I meant to tell you up there as well, too. The witch-like woman. You see her chin? Here's her chin. There's her mouth. There's her nose. There's her forehead. And she's also shown with hair. So she's up here. There's an African-like figure there. And I'm down here on either side. A dimensional doorway. A portal opened up through that of Angkor Wat through an overlayment of images and it produces my face with that woman and this figure here. Check that out. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to show you some other stuff because this gets this gets deep people. I want to show you something because I'm not on there alone. I want to show you something because I'm not on there alone and make sure I go through all my notes there. I have to, um, I'm going to show you this turn, this image turned over. I'm going to show it turned over, but I got to open up some other mail. This computer that I'm doing is from, I can't do all of it from this computer. I want to show you something else, people. Remember that image there, because I'm, when I turn this upside down, it's going to create a woman's face. Yep. Uh, okay, here. Let's go here. Now, remember up in the top there. There was a um, there was a bird figure. All right, let me see what we're at. There was a bird figure up top. Let me put another sticky up there so I know what I'm gonna. Okay, there we go. I, I want to remember to go back to that. Now check this out. Here, going down. What do you see right there? You tell me what you see. You tell me what you see right there. Tell me what you see. And <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna come to this side. Well, I got more room. I'm gonna help you. Here, there is an insignia where you have <coughs> <coughs> you have wings off on this side, a wing off on that side. An insignia in the middle with the cross. This is a popal like crown here. You see that? Like a bullet. Like the head of a of a bomb. Well, that's the popal's cap. Here's the forehead where the cap stops. And then it actually comes around the ears on that side. And it comes around the ears on that side. This is the right side of the face. This is the left side of the face. And here's the cutoff and the popal cap. There's a face in the purple cap. There's the right eye, there's the left eye, there's the nose, and there's the mouth open right there. Then here is the torso era, area right there. You see that? Now, I want to make sure that you see everything. Now, this bane is almost like it's, it's flying. Like, arms open, like, ha ha, here I am. Also, you see these feet, almost like that of fins, flippers between the duck and the and the um, 
and the turtle. Look at these feet. Look at this. Now the beans wing like figures are open. Guess what is at either end that creates this? These are those statuettes of those monkeys that was off on either side that creates this. Those monkeys that I showed you. So it's showing you now now look at this in sync look at the, look at the symbols in between. Look at all of this people because this is all the style of our popes today. Look at this. That creates the popal not the, this is the tiara here, the popal's cap, the tiara. There's a face and all of this here is creating the Popal's um, um, a wardrobe. But except this are showing you the graphic details of all of the symbolizations that are there. Look at this in a raw form. Now, again, this is a mirrored image of that, of everything that this is just an overlay, a, a mirrored image of Angkor Wat and is producing this image. Another thing that this is creating is how this creature is hunched over like the hunchback of Notre Dame, which is reminiscent of that of our popes, our age popes specifically, John Paul bent the hell over like, I mean, like he has a disease in his spine. Look at this. Can you see that, people? And then look at all of these these symbolizations going up from here, off the, like a totem pole. Here, look. Look at this here, like an orb, like a guy wearing a hat. There's a chin. There's an eye. There's an eye. There's a nose, like an orb here. Looks like something I seen in one of the kids' cartoons that that you see flying around, getting information. You see that right there? I wonder if you can. Yeah, you can see that. Then here. Like a flying saucer here, but but it's not. Did you see that? And then look look at the po you see this? Look. Look at all of this people. Look at this. All from a mirrored image of Angkor Wat. Nothing changed except taking the image and laying it over top of each other, moving it around to where these images are produced. And look at this. A perfect picture of a of what you would imagine what a Pope would be. No one in our world appears like this except the Pope. Holding out two monkeys on either arm stating from this being through the body of the turtle and other mutations, genetic alterings. Haha, -ha, here I am. And this is what the message is today that we see and I'm gonna show you some other stuff I'm gonna show you some other stuff because it's the it gets better still hold on uh, let me move away from that because I don't want this to be okay there's there's those monkeys again right here here's another symbolization from from that same mirrored image check this out here's the monkey there's a monkey here's just object up in the middle here now check this out how it creates that u-bend like Poseidon's sword or a dagger look you see the you see the handle here's the handle of the dagger right here where you would hold it right there the bent out u's come out now we know what they mean people look because on those bent out u's what is there those monkeys on either side Okay, and then coming up the shaft of the dagger. Look at this, people. Here's the head of the dagger, almost like Poseidon sword. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm staffed. Poseidon, that, that, that fork that he has, the same exact thing. Or the dagger. Look. Now, guess what this is though. This dagger is creating the image of in the raw form on the overlayment. It's showing you from the cox, the cocktail chemistry of all of this. The dagger which is created, it shows a dick up at top emerging there's a dick this is the head the slit look it creates the shaft this dagger is a dick I'm believing at this point without actually checking and go because this shit takes you everywhere people that you can never imagine that this is like a a, 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 a um an ejaculatory gland not just of the monkey but of the turtle tied together and it's showing you 
that this penis is created. Look how this opens up. And by the way, people, if you Google images of a turtle's penis, it's the ugliest thing you could possibly ever imagine. So imagine a cross between a turtle's penis and these apes' penises shown, created together. And from that, this is the same way if you were to have your domestic animal, like your dog, watching your dog, um, 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 penis comes out during sex or just sitting there being happy of how that shaft, because here's the penis right here, from here on up, shown emerging from all of this chemistry. And there's the penis there up the middle. And look, it's shown it, it, it from an overlayment of these images of the building. Look at this, people. And then you have down here, eyes looking at you on that sword handle and faces and mutations here again like the totem pole where it shows a splice split then coming up there's another face up in here look at this look at these faces with worms like coming off antennae look right here split again and then coming up showing you different levels of altering the penile gland and then finally, there's our penis there. This, through the building of Angkor Wat, from laying one image over another, sliding the images across, it produced holographic images of the truth. Dimensional doorways to the truth of how you came to be. I'm going on. Okay, this is another overlaid image. Nothing really here to discuss except that these creates faces like I told you here and there because this is the the anchor what represents where there was cross bridging. It's a cross um, a bridging referencing spot where it's the turtle was involved. And that's why the turtle is shown in the eaves of the building. That's why the turtle heads. You see that that close up uh, that close up there of the turtle heads. This is why. In fact, let me back out some. Uh, I can just push back a little bit and show you. This is why you can see the collar neck of the turtle and the turtle heads. Look at the eye there of the turtle. You see that on either side. You see that people. This building is a representation of a reptilian genetic bridging with the monkey and the turtle, which calls for creation of genes. All right, um, where are we at here? I'm gonna go into something else. Okay, we see our guy there. Okay, I'm gonna, I have to click out of this and I don't know what's gonna come up on my screen because I'm going to my mailbox. So temporarily I'm gonna black us out until I go black this out until I go to my um okay we're blacked out I'm gonna black this out until I get through my mailbox here people to where I need to be at because I'm going into my mailbox and um, as soon as I pull it back up I'll take you back okay where we at um hold on people I'm going to be there one minute. Okay. I'm going to take this back off <clears throat> and bring you back up. Now, I can take these down to my notes. I don't went through all of them. Let me take my notes down. Now, I'm going to show you something about these images with, with, um, with the Pope. You know, bringing these images up and now I'm gonna tell you something about these images which is eerily scary about this because this guy looks like that the guy on the Angkor Wat building that I actually showed you but it's amazing amazing that these people clergy and people that dedicated their lives to supposedly serving God I mean they have the best of care the best of everything at their disposal um, they don't have to work like regular working people do and their stress levels are, are nothing near that of what an everyday person in life is goes to and again I'm telling you something I see crackheads that did drugs all of their lives age better than this the same thing with kingships and queenships 
I mean, the queens should not have to be made up and, and have to put no makeup on. There should be, have to be no lipstick and there should have to be nothing covering your neck, the wrinkles and all. This is, I mean, you had the best lives in the world and you are exposed to the best medicines in the world. There's no way that you should age after serving your life. I mean, giving your life to, or serving your life and such a dedication to look like this in the end. Because I wouldn't want to look forward to that. You know what I mean? But see, they project this image. It's like they strive to show the world this because this is equal to everything that I just showed you about Anchor Wat. It's like him showing his face like this and saying, look, I am the face of my creator. It's like they're, I mean, this is what they strive to do. The bent over backs and all of this, this shit. You know what I mean? I'm going to show you some more images. Because I'm going to go back to that Anchor Wat image. I mean, look at this. Look at the columns. When I produce that image in Anchor Wat, these like columns right here are there. That that um that trajectory gland that I told you that where the apes were on each column and then the penis thing come up in the middle. This is what this is showing me here. Look at this guy. On the cross with the, look at this. And it's blown out. I mean, what in the hell? You know what I mean? And I'm gonna show you something else. This is this is an image somebody else already put online. But the only reason why I'm here, forget all of the fire shit, I'm not is because I'm gonna show you the posture of this guy's back on how they look. You see all of this stuff right here? The scarfing wear, I forget what they call that. All of that is in that image on Anchor Watt. Look, look at the back. How he's bent over. It's like they strive to come to the end of their potency with this look. All right, I'm going to go to something else. Again, the curvature in the back. Look at this. I mean, come on, people. I mean, you must agree with me. You have the best of everything in your life. So how do your life come to where you look like you have like sclerosis of your spine and you're barely able to move. I mean, it's like, I mean, but this, but if you think about it in the sense that I'm telling you that these people are sacrificing their bodies to a genetic contamination and bridging, not only of themselves, but of others, genes are taken into themselves and they're genetically altered. So this is explaining why these guys, you see them, they appear on, on nationalized television with sores and shit around their mouth, with sores on their face, with redness around their eyes, and they look like fucking devils. They look sick. Like they have a disease. You know why? Okay. Because they're genetically contaminated. They're genetic bridgers. Here's the image again. Here it is, right here again. I'm back to that image. Now, look at this and tell me that this is not what everything I just explained to you. The monkeys are here. These are those apes that would be on Anchor Wat that but it brings the mirrored image brings these monkeys together. This is the Pope, the Pope's cloak, or the Pope's cloak here, spread out, the monkeys pulled out. Here's the Pope's um um um, um scarf area that he wear. I forgot what they call it with all of these symbols on it. Check this out right there. There's the Popo's cap and then there's wings here. The tiara, the Popo's here and the cross is in the middle and it's showing you all of these insignias. Look, this is what Popacy is truly about. They never would probably think that this mirrored image would become produced from Angkor Wat though. This is a this is an image thanks to Anchor Wat, the building of Anchor Wat, which earlier pioneers on our on our planet, um, the conquistadors and and, and Christopher Columbus and, and Pierre Wright. These people that did not find this location to deface it like they did the others. This is the reason why this building wasn't touched and contaminated. You know why? These, these guys traveled the world 
and stole information. And this is why popes are able today. They have the upper hand in knowledge. People, power and knowledge comes from the suppression of this shit to keep you from knowing the truth. If you don't know the truth, you don't know anything, then you fear all of this stuff. These people done traveled the world. Look at how the British, look at how ancient rooted religion traveled from, from, from place to place to these ancient locations. And I call them crime scenes because, well, they didn't get to Angkor Wat, but I call them crime scenes. You know why? Because everywhere the British and ancient rooted religion went, like Egypt, um, 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 the Mayan country, everywhere that they went, Mexico, all of the Peru, it seems like there's a wake of destruction. The artifacts were stolen, the gold was stolen, and everything that was left behind the monuments were defaced. Thank goodness that the, the tombs in the, um, the the Valley of the Kings in Egypt were there and it gave us some truth because stuff was buried down in the ground. Because if they, if they would have known about that, the British was like, damn, we missed that. You see what I'm saying, people? Now that the truth is coming out about what was really happening, this here stuff, though, people, is, is, is textbook. It doesn't get no better than this. Look at this in the truth. Look at the chin area. Look at this. Look at the collar. How the collar is created. Look at that. Look at that crown, people. This is the image of the Pope. This is where the image of the Pope originated. This is one of the oldest locations in our world. So if this is produced, look at this image. Look. This is our first, this is our first Popal image right here. Look at this. The monkeys out on the side. On either side. Joker got ducks. Reptilian feet, duck and turtle feet, body held up in the air. Look at this, people. Chin. Look at the mouth. I can almost imagine blood around the mouth. The eye, the head. Look at this, people. Look. I'm gonna bring that in so close that I'm gonna, cause I'm gonna mess your heads up with this one. And th and this is all. Okay, yeah, we did. We did go in closer. Okay, I'm gonna mess your head up with this. Look at this. We have the purple cap, the wing on it on the head, the insignia. Look at this. Our first purple cap before our kind came in and changed it. There's your first purple cap right there. Look at that. On an elongated head, in fact, because the elongated head is shown here on the monkey right here. See that monkey, the cranial. So this is what is up underneath the purple cap, the elongated cranium. Because this is a monkey here, people. Monkey there, monkey there, and he's holding his arms out. Behold, look what I've done created. Bridged over the reptilian body, which is that of the turtle and the monkey, and is showing you a mutation. So if this is the mutation, like I brought it to you, and it is, what in the hell is going on in the Vatican then? I've been telling everybody for the last past almost five years that mankind's beings is only solely based on who they genetically are. And it's about the genetic bridging of ancient rooted genes which began with the genetic altering of the monkey, Africans, and then the creation of other mankind's existence, civilizations of people, and then the bridging, the recyclination of those genes going back in. And the cross is a symbolization of the cross referencing of mankind's being. And here, I give it to you. Behold. All right, I got to get to me in here because I'm in here somewhere. Okay, here's the image of me. Not this guy, because my lips don't look like that, people, so don't, don't go there. All right. Here's a black face. Again, I done went to there with the elongated head. And look, people, there is a crown up there. Look, there is a crown. Look, look at this. There is a crown up there on that elongated head. Look, look at that. There's a right eye, a left eye. This person is wearing like glasses I forget the type of glasses because I even had a pair like that in fact but look at the glasses people 
And then look, the nostril. Now check this out. Look at the mouth. Look at the mouth. This is an Angkor Wat. And then there is me. I'm going to show you a picture of me. I don't know if you can see. It almost looks like, you know what it almost looks like here? Like I almost look like there, to be totally honest with you. Almost, oh, here's a here's a picture of me I can show you right here. I can, I'm, my, I'm gonna come up, but there that's what that's what that image is. That's what that image is producing right there. And let me show you what I have there. Look at that. Um, I gotta make sure I hold this up. Look how I look how I did myself. Ain't I pretty? Look at that. Let me. I have an image of me, but I'm gonna. I want you to see these creatures around there, and um. I got a um look look right here in the shadows. You see that? You see all of this here, people, these creatures? Look at that. Now that's me. I have had a genuine paranormal experience and encounter people. And what is written there, it says, where there is light, I see darkness. Where there is darkness, I see light. That's my saying. That's what I wrote. Again, where there is light, I see darkness. Where there is darkness, I see light. Through my genuine paranormal experience and encounter people, I can see what is going on. And in these images, oh, by the way, people, my face also appears in the Egyptian glyphs of um, um, the Anakin babies with Nefertiti and um, Anakin. So I'm telling you right now that there is something that is truly unique about me. And... It all began with me stopping in my tracks almost five years ago. If you want to see my story, it's on alien UFOs where I started, where I was taking an out-of-body experience. I believe that that day was a day that I possibly would have died if I would have turned around because I was taken out of my body. My soul, my spirit was taken out of my body in the afternoon daylight while I was wide awake. I was taken out and outside of our world, out of the atmospheric layers of our world, and I look back on top of our, I mean, look back on our world. And the only thing that I knew instinctively it to, that something said to myself is don't turn around. And it reminds me of the story of Lot and his wife and then Sodom and Gomorrah of his, and his wife turned around and turned into a pillar of salt. She died at that moment. That reminded me of that incident. And then also what reminded me of is um, about um, Enoch where they said that he was taken up to the heavens. People, I'm telling you, I'm having a genuine experience and encounter. And through that, I can bring you all of this. Also, thank you. My, oh, there's the mother of creation there. If you can see her here, she has, there's her chin, her mouth, her nose, her right eye. And she has a point on her head. And there's her hair right there on either side of this face here. So the mother of creation here, we have this being here with the elongated head, with the crown, and then I'm right there. There's my ears and all people, my face and everything. When I seen that image, I knew, I said, there I am. And, there, and the beard is the way I'm wearing my beard right now. Hold on. My image is gonna come up anyway, but that's my beard that I'm wearing right now is in that image. And this is, no, this is a genuine image that was actually produced um, um, that was overlaid by a person that joined me. His name is Mike. So this picture was sent to me from a whole nother location and I seen myself in it. And I should come up here somewhere. There I go right there. There I go right there. That image of me appears in Angkor Wat without all of this here. This is through my paranormal experience and encounter that I see myself. And again, it says, where there is light, I see darkness. Where there is darkness, I see light. And this is the truth. People, I can see, I can experience everything. These buildings, these ancient buildings, it's like I built on myself. The understanding of everything. It's, it's like this informational highway is coming through me. I'm drug free, I'm alcohol free, I don't touch any of those things. Don't take no type of meds, no nothing. Been free of all that for almost 23, 24 years. Look at me. You can see the, the, the clearness in my eyes. I don't do anything, people. 
not under the influence of anything except for my encounter and my experience. I never thought that I would be to this far to where I would be doing anything like this. In fact, I remember when I was used to get on people about putting their information, their personal information online um, about why they spent so much time on the computer doing this. And now my life is consumed with this. I'm posting images online about my um, about myself. Um, I have a Facebook page, I have a Twitter page. You know what I mean? Um, I'm on Google Plus. I mean, I am all over the internet with not just my personal life experiences, um, personal stuff, um, encounters that I haven't had with the law. My whole life is online now through my experience and my encounter, something that I believe in. And I'm going to tell you something right now. At this point in my life, there is nothing more that I believe in, nothing more than I believe in myself. And people, this is why I've been entrusted to bring you this message of everything that is going on. I'm going to move on to the next image. Look how clear my skin looks. I look absolutely beautiful. Look at this, people. Look at my skin. Can you see that, that picture there? Look at my skin. Look at that. All right. This is the that guy that I showed you, that turtle mutation, turned upside down. The guy's feet would have been there. Look at the look at look at this people. Cause there's it. Look at this. Can you see? This is where his chest was open. And then you know the sign the, the the thing from the from the rib bone of man came woman? Well, there's a reptilian being here. There's a chin. This isn't that guy now. Like this image is turned upside down. So there's a cat-like creature here. Nostril, nostril, nose, eye, eye, ear, ear. And you can even see the cat-like uh, markings like that of a, like a tiger there. You see this? Look at this, people. This is a face here. You see that face of like a cat? Check it out right there. Ear, ear, forehead, eye, eye, nose, cat's mouth, and the cat's face. Here, here goes the cat's elongated cheek, cheeks right there. You see it there? This is one creature. The next creature is up here on top of that. So you have two creatures. Here's one here. Now here's the second one right here. face of a female. There's the chin. There's these elongated teeth, like vampire teeth. Here's the mouth. Here's the cheek, cheek, nose. Here's the chin in your face, underneath your cheekbones. Cheekbone, cheekbone, coming around. Here's an eye. There's an eye. Come over. Here's the forehead right here. And there's a face there. And then where the feet is on that guy turned upside down, it creates like horns right there. There's that face. You see the triangle there, like a Christmas tree right there. You see that going up? And down at the bottom is that guy that's upside down and says, look what I created. That's all down there. Can you see it, people? So we have two faces in the body of that guy. If we spin this around, and this is what multidimensional images are. This is self-verification. You turn this around. We have my turtle ape mutation and bird mutation. You spin it back this way and the next image is produced. These are self-verifying images that where no matter which direction you turn them in, one of the mutated creations are exposed. This is what this is all about. This is Anchor Watt, people. An overlayment of Anchor Watt. Let me see if I can bring this back. There it is there. This image here with the little man on top looking like Kazoo from Fred Flintstone. There, the alien looking guy, the mutation. You see his, you see his face up there, right, people? You see his face up there. You see that? That guy there with his open cape, cloak, body in the middle. Look at what I created. Hands are out. Standing on the head of this being, if you spin it back around, if you turn this image, all you have to do is turn this image upside down. 
And this is created. So I'm going to leave this here for a minute, long enough for you to look at it, because those of you that want to, you can take and copy this image, take a picture of it with your cell phone or whatever, or whatever kind of phone that you have, take a picture of this and just turn it upside down and that guy, that mutation appears. So this has been there long enough. Take a picture of that. I challenge you, take a picture of it on the screen. You take a picture of that and then turn it, flip it upside down. It's been there long enough. I'm going to change it out the way now. Um, you take a picture of me too. You probably get a mute. You probably get that guy if you took a picture of me and flip. Look, I'd probably be that turtle guy since I'm already there. If you guys took a picture of me and started doing an overlayment of me, you'd probably start seeing shit like this. <laughs> um, anyway, take a picture. And then turn it upside down and you'll get the image of the guy. All right. So let me see if there's anything else here that I have that I want to show you. All right. So we have that. We have that. What else is there? I'm about ready to close this video out, people. There's that extraordinary fellow there again. He's holding his chest cavity open and showing you his inside, what is inside of his body. Um, again, people, this is an extraordinary symbolization here brought to you from Anchor Watt by Jerome Wright and um, thanks to Mike okay who I directed to do this overlayment for me and he did oh here's another overlayment too of it and I don't know if you can see it from there what I can see but in the middle there's a being here and at each level it shows another being but what you need to see is that there's a seated guy in a throne right here he has like this triangled face, you see that triangle upside down face there? There's an eye, there's an eye, there's a mouth. And look at the collar, clothing of collar. He's seated in a throne. There's his ward there's his there's his wardrobe there. You see it right there? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go the feet, foot, foot. Here's a here's the wardrobe. Here's the gown, like a clown, a uh, clown. Uh, um, the hand, this is the left arm, this is the right arm, and it has like a gown on. There's a collar for the gown right there. There's a collar. Okay. It's like a wardrobe. And this here, these are the arms of the throne that he's sitting in right there. He's sitting right there in the throne. Can you see that? Yes, you can. I'm, I'm looking back at the mirror. Okay. So we're going to go again. Here's the head of that being. Here's the collar, collar, the wardrobe that that guy is wearing. Okay. And he's sitting. This is This creates a seat, a throne. There's the arm of the throne on the left side. There's the arm of the throne on the right side. This is the throne that that guy is sitting in like a chair. And he's sitting there. Here's the back piece of the throne right there. The headboard of the throne right there. And this guy is sitting in the damn throne looking directly at you. And now it gets better because through each layer of this, because there's another being in here, through each layering, there's a person that can be shown behind this person. Like, uh, it's, it's hard to explain. It's like a telescoping image where behind each break in this layering, there's another person in the throne behind it. Like they each sitting in each other's laps right down the line. And that's what this is creating. So this stands right at you. I can see behind that there's a face there. There's another person like this person in this throne seated is sitting in the lap of another person in their throne and then so forth and so forth behind each other until like a telescoping images of kingships through this creation in these morphing images. This is Anchor Watt people. A mirrored overlaid image of Anchor Watt. And I'm telling you that it produces dimensional images. This is almost like a time machine. A holographic image of, of time machines that actually show us who we are. I'm going to click out of this. So I'm going to end this video there. Hold on for one minute.
I'm going to end this video there with the Pope, I guess, right there. Let me see. I'm going to end this video right there, people. You see that? With the Pope image. And not only is the Pope there, but I'm there as well, too. I'm there as well, too. Absolutely amazing. This is telling us, well, before I go anywhere else, hold on for one minute. Now, this is a Popal's image in my mind. This is everything that the Popal sees is, is actually about. You know, and I'm going to close this out with saying this. These guys had the advantage and the luxury of going around the world and stealing ancient history from each culture and each civilization. I did not. These guys have information that go back all the way to the Knights Templar. By the way, the Knights Templar said that they were going to expose Christianity for what it really was. They never got a chance to because the, the ancient root of Christianity went around and, and raided them in the middle of the night while they were still sleeping. And the ones that they didn't kill, some of them got away and they escaped. So um, they were double-crossed, the Knights Templar, by those of um, ancient rooted religion and ancient rooted royalty they um they went around because they said that they you, you see where i'm at with that so the kings had the knights templar beheaded you know so it was ancient rooted religion and ancient rooted royalty that stopped a a group of people the knights templar an organization or whatever you want to call it and um because they were great exposed christianity for what it really was what I'm doing right now. By the way, um, the um, the um, the Rosalind Chapel. I can I started out reading as well too, so I'm almost a hundred percent sure that it can be done the same exact way because I've seen images in Angkor Wat just through my neck, my neck. I mean, not Angkor Wat, but Rosalind Chapel through my naked eye. So. That could possibly be done as well, too. And I actually think I know the secret to reading Rosalind Chapel. And um, I'll, I'll probably do a video on that at another time. But this here, people, I want you to take a look at this because this is the blocks of this building. This is not no Photoshop. This is just mirroring one image over another that's moving like a, um, like a slide like a like a like a picture slide or like a, um, a slide of images nothing more there's nothing added to this this is everything that is already there that produces this image how can you do this people look at this a perfect image of a popal's cap a popal figure arms out and at each arm there is a monkey indicating this is where we came from. Now this this building, I mean, they don't even have the the, 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 the the proper date on which this was even constructed. And look at but not just that people, notwithstanding that fact, look at the technology that our ancient ancestors had. Forget the thing about building the building, but to be able to project futuristic images through the building, which actually include not only Images of that of what we believe to be in our Pope, but images of me, myself. So, isn't it ironic that I'm the one, my, I'm telling you, my image appears as I do here, without the cross and all, the same face, and it has me with a receding hair, has me with hair, with a receding hairline. But my beard and everything, as I appear right here, I appear in this image and people, I'm the one that's bringing you this amazing discovery. And it all started almost five years ago with my alien UFO um, um, site of where I kept having these visions 
that kept bringing me closer and closer to reality and this shit. I have 250 plus videos here on YouTube. Never thought that I would ever be able to do anything like this because I sucked at science. I don't believe in no satanic bullshit. You know what I mean? I stopped believing in religion and stuff a long time ago because I didn't see no truth and reality in it. And here I find myself sharing this with you and telling you that everything that is here, I am a part of it through an ancient DNA system that calls for genetic bridging of mankind's being with that of animal kind being, which included reptilians and oceanic creatures. And I am a message board. All of the information of this stuff is within me. And not just here through Anchor Wild in Cambodia, but everywhere here in our world is inside of me. This information is inside of me and beyond our world in space. And I have each and every one of my videos, I'm saying the same damn thing that I am paranormally linked to everything. And I keep bringing you these videos and don't have no end, but yet I am not viral yet. My name is Jerome Wright. I'm going to end this video there. Let's see where this takes me. I'm going to make another video and I'm going to keep making videos till my message is, is out there. Thank you. Or mirrored images. Okay. And I want to show you something. You see this image here? This is a mirrored image. Thanks to Mike. Mike mirrored this image for me, and this is of the location of Angkor Wat as well, too. In here, there's a head. This guy is wearing like a a, 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 a bulb on his, on his head, almost like wings on his back. Look at the face here. This is a mutation, okay? And I'm going to tell you about this in a minute. If you notice, the guy's arms comes around, swings around, and comes in, and it's like he's holding a book open at his chest. Here's the other arm. This is the right arm coming around, bending around the elbow, coming up to the hands right here into the chest area. Here's the left shoulder coming over around the right elbow. Oh, no, the left elbow. And again, over here, here's the guy's body right here, which creates his stomach and legs together. Uh, and here's his feet coming out. This is his left foot here. Here's his right foot there. You see that creates an entire body and he's wearing like a suit okay you ever notice hello everybody Jerome right here once again and um here you're joining me on my YouTube Jerome Wright channel okay in this video I'm gonna go back to my anchor Watt discoveries I do have a video out on this about my discovery of me finding these turtles here in the eaves of this anchor Watt building if you look closely right here these are the shells in the eaves of turtles they're the backs and then you have the telescoping necks which is here if you're showing the skin there and the head of the turtle coming up out of the eve of Angkor Wat okay now there is a mythical um, um, um tale about how there was a king that turned and pulled his body to the point where he turned himself into a turtle and a turtle into him so genetic bridging and manipulation this is what my discoveries are all about people about these ancient mythical tales where it was reality, actuality, and not a myth. Okay, so, and it all involves the monkey. Now, it's about this turtle being bridged over what? This is what it's all about, about that of a, a monkey. So, here's the monkey right here. You see the monkey bent over? There's the monkey cranial, there's the monkey's face, there's the monkey's left arm, there's the monkey's right arm, there's the monkey's torso. This is the back of the monkey here. This one here is a little disfigured, but we have it here. Okay, you see the monkey bent over there. Okay, so we have the monkey, we have the turtle. Now, there's mutations. There's a mutation right there. I'm going to see if I can come in to show you a, a mutation of that creature. And this is what this is all about, people, about how our ancestors knew how to genetically alter themselves. If you look right here, there is a face of a monkey looking like figure crossed between a monkey and a turtle. And 
it's created with a crown. Now, if you look at this whole entire figure in a thumbnail size, there are two faces over top of each other here. Multi-dimensional faces in these locations right here. So when you Google these images and you look at them in thumbnail size, if you think you saw the face, yes, you saw the face. Now, another thing here is key to this is that I'm going to come to something later, is that there is a bird up in the top right there. Okay, this bird is symbolic of that of also with genetic change within and genetic contribution to that of mankind. Okay, you also see this almost the same exact symbolization of this bird in the um on Lord Pakal's um tomb lid. Okay, um, or Mayan king leader. Okay, these are showing people these genetic contributions of these genes that genetically altered us from what this creature right here and this is what calls for all of the different likenesses of mankind now um, let me go to my next picture here let me see what I got up um, this is oh I can't do it from this I cannot do it from this I've got two computers up here I keep trying to work one I wanna I wanna show you something and let me These here people are images that are people with the tuxes and you notice how the tux um, um, collars come out in white right there. Okay. Well, this guy is not wearing a suit. It gives rise to that. Oh, by the way, this is his mouth right here. There's an eye. There's an eye. And this creates the nose. Here's the mustache area here. I hope I'm not writing on my screen here. All right. And um, there's his nostril area. You see this people? This creates a perfectly a perfect face you know this guy is not holding open a suit jacket or a dinner jacket this guy is holding open his chest cavity you know why because there are other multi-dimensional images inside of here which include that of the pig well you're saying well what in the hell is a pig doing in this guy's chest cavity well people think about it what animal has the exact heart or well, most that in compatibility with that of mankind? It is the pig. So the pig is referenced in the creation of mankind because the pig was created along the same chemistries which calls for the likenesses of mankind. Well, you have to know this because.